Do you carry around one phone for work and another phone for personal use? Do you wish you could just carry one? The desire to have one device for both work and personal use is a common one, but often due to very valid reasons, like security, it isn't possible for many people. With Android for Work, IT management can set up your personal device for secure use at work while you maintain control of your device and your personal information. I'm Gene Trinks, and I'm going to run through our solution for using Android devices for both work and play. Android has evolved to add secure management of data and apps that can be consistently applied across devices. Be it the traditional premium devices used today in many companies, or the lower cost, high volume devices used by over a billion people around the world, or the many single use corporate or kiosk type applications. All of these variations can be work enabled, and best of all, they remain easy to use by the end user. Introduced in early 2015, Android for Work brings the best features of Android to the enterprise, including our focus on Android innovation, our great device ecosystem, app development, and device management capabilities. Android for Work comprises features in two areas, enhancements to the Android device experience and new tools for our partners to add value in the enterprise. Devices get enhancements to Android and Lollipop and Newer to support work profiles, an app that allows for the same user experience on older devices, Google Play for Work for securely distributing apps, and built-in productivity tools to make sure everyone has a consistent user experience no matter what device they choose. For our partners, the main features are new interfaces for enterprise mobility management partners to control and administer every aspect of this enterprise experience, New interfaces for app developers that allow EMM partners to remotely configure enterprise apps for end users. And of course, Android remains an open platform where our device partners can continue to innovate and add additional features. Let's dig a little deeper into what's new in Android for Work devices. As we mentioned earlier, Android for Work and Lollipop, which is Android 5.0, introduces the concept of work profiles, the ability to securely separate work data from personal data and allow the enterprise to control only the work profile. This allows you to still maintain your privacy on the device that you bring into work, known as BYOD. Built right into Android, this data separation is achieved through a combination of full device encryption coupled with multi-user support. Picture a work user and a personal user running simultaneously on one device. In addition to separating data on the device, it also allows IT admins to control which apps can communicate with each other and allows for the optional obfuscation of notifications to protect company data when your device is locked and you receive a new work email, for example. For the end user, the experience is seamless. Work apps live alongside personal apps and are denoted by the Android for Work briefcase badge. And our EMM partners have integrated all these capabilities into the mobile device management consoles that your IT department is using today. For devices that are not running Android version 5.0 or newer, and some Lollipop devices that don't support profiles, we've provided the Android for Work app. It offers backwards compatibility going back to Android version 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. This app can be downloaded from the Play Store and uses container technology to provide a very similar user experience as those newer devices. Things like badged work apps, separation of data, restriction of intents, which is data sharing across apps, and it allows management through that same console that your IT department is already using. One of the most important features of Android for Work is its use of Google Play for Work as the method for distributing and managing applications for the work profile. Enterprises can choose any app, free or paid, from the Google Play Store and whitelist it for optional installation into the work profile. They can also silently push apps into the work profile. Bulk purchasing is now supported for paid apps. And custom apps can also be deployed utilizing a private channel on Google Play for restricted access to only users in your organization. The Android for Work app supports a more limited set of apps from the Google Play Store, but the experience is the same, whitelisting apps and deploying them via Google Play. It's important to note that only apps that have been approved ahead of time and whitelisted by IT can be installed into the work profile and they must come from the Google Play Store, so there's no risk of any unapproved apps. And again, all this is controlled by your EMM via policy through the management tools that you use today. All this control applies to the work profile or the Android for Work app. 
If it's a BYOD device, the user can still use their own apps on the personal side and the data never gets combined. And if it's a BYOD device, the company can't wipe your personal data. To make the user experience consistent across all different devices on different OS versions from different manufacturers, Android for Work provides a full suite of optional productivity tools. There's a PIM suite, email, contacts, calendar, tasks, that supports Exchange and Lotus Notes via ActiveSync with advanced enterprise features like SMIME encrypted email and free busy lookup. Doc sheets and slides are provided for the editing of email attachments. These work in office compatibility mode and provide the ability to edit and save and attach to emails. There's a PDF viewer and Chrome is provided as the browser. Google Apps users would use Gmail instead of the PIM suite but they also get access to the additional online collaborative features of Docs, Sheets, and Slides. All of these apps can be configured remotely by the enterprise to reduce complexity for the end user. For example, pre-populating server settings or proxies or bookmarks in Chrome, etc. In fact, any ISV can make use of these new remote configuration capabilities to make their apps easier to deploy in the enterprise too. We've talked a bit about some of the new features in Android for Work and the end user experience. But it's critical to note that there's a lot more going on behind the scenes and we rely on our partner ecosystem to put the whole package together. On the devices side, we've built these new features into the Android platform and have worked closely with the device OEMs to implement them in devices running Lollipop and newer versions of Android. On the applications front, we've discussed new capabilities in remote management that our ISV partners are adopting. And there's also new VPN capabilities in Android for Work that allow for either per profile or per app VPN. All of these new capabilities rely on the EMM partners that have utilized the Android for Work APIs to build in the capabilities to manage the work profile, Android for Work app, app configuration, and per app VPN, all from that single management console. So just to review, we've talked a little bit about the end user features and the features that are important to IT and how you can use your device for both work and personal use. Thank you for your time, and I hope you've learned some more about Android for Work and the capabilities that will make it easier to manage and secure corporate data on Android devices while still allowing you to maintain control of your device and protect your privacy.